We started. Whoa. Welcome to Sally's Cooking. And today in the South, it is summertime, and there is nothing that we love more than riding our horses. But whenever we do, we get really hungry on the farm. And today, we're going to be making tuna fish sandwiches. Along with Sweet Mama, she has Hello Dolly cookies for us. Mm -hmm. You're not going to want to miss them. This is my horse, Stefan, and we're going to let him go graze a few minutes while we stir up a delicious picnic. All right. Say hi to the world, Stefan. <laughs> he is a quarter horse, and I have ridden dressage since I was six years old. But now I just enjoy riding for fun. But you can see one of my grand champion ribbons over here. All right. Now then, the first thing we're going to do is get started with our tuna fish. Okay, great. All right, we're going to drain that off. And I bet you the barn cats are going to be here in a minute. <laughs> we have two barn cats. One is named Tom, and the other one is named Orange. I bet you can't guess what color the orange one is, huh? <laughs> All right, now then, we're starting with one can of tuna. And we have an apple here chopped up. We're going to pour that in. Then I have one hard-boiled egg chopped up. And then I'm going to use about a tablespoon of mayonnaise here. If I can get the spoon out of the mayonnaise, huh? And I use, when I'm using pickle relish, I use two teaspoons. Now, if I'm doing the regular pickles, which I really like to do and chop them up. Uh-oh, Stefan's ready to make another debut here. All right, now then, I use seven, just like in seven days in a week. And I like to use two teaspoons of the sweet water with the pickles because it gives it such a good flavor. All right, now then, let me get this stirred up here. Mm -mm. Tuna fish is so easy to make, and you don't see it made that much. And it's really very economical. It can go a long way. All right, when you're making this, make sure that you remember to buy fresh bread mm -hmm. and everybody's favorite chips. We always say we go by the dollar store to make sure that we have everybody's favorite chips when we're doing this, okay? And this is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to take a fresh piece of bread. And you can do two different ways. You could use two slices. I remember my grandmother doing this, and I always thought it was so neat looking. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put it on half the bread, and she would just fold the bread over. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> You're going to want to make this. All right, now then, do not forget the sweet tea. I made it on uh, football chicken wings. Now, football chicken wings is a good show for any time when you want chicken wings. But Sweet Mama tells you how to make the sweet tea. Do not forget the plates, the napkins, and the plastic glasses. All right. With Sally's cooking. Have a great summer. Sweet Mama's going to be back with her Hello Dolly Part 2. All right. Have a good day. Bye.